In this video, we will talk about the way of working with Fur with Geria 2.0. And in Geria 2.0, there is two ways of working with Fur. First of all, it's import a Fur cache from an external grooming tool like EAT or Eggen. And the other one is used directly the uh, Geria procedural to instantiate or replicate uh, or generate a render for the uh, render engine. So um, we're able to uh, read a uh, different uh, for cache system like Yeti Xen and the new version of uh, Xen IGS or also the uh, oldest one that's uh, NR that can be directly uh, uh, read into read into uh, Garia. And um, but we can use directly the uh, Garia procedural to uh, create for. Uh, first way it's to uh, create fully procedural system. It's really, really good for doing a fur system uh, or a carpet or grass or some something that can be really easily doable in procedural. And it's really, really sober in terms of memory footprint, in terms of uh, and really, really uh, fast to uh, compute. The other way it's use uh, guides that you generate with an external software uh, like uh, the curve or uh, directly Vellum uh, uh, guides or uh, I recently I tried to use uh, Ornatrix guides and it works really well. Um, it's user friendly because you got a system that can create for uh, that can create guides with the combing tool that you usually um, use uh, in the other system, but it's more uh, efficient in terms of memory because you get uh, a lesser tiny cache and you can uh, really um, change parameter very really quickly. And uh, with the system, you can create complex geometry with a complex grooming. And uh, the other part is uh, also you can directly use uh, correct FX uh, to simulate some collision or something like that with the guide. So first of all, let's talk about the uh, fully procedural system, the sim simplest one. Um, this system, it's fully parametric, so I'm going to just create a skylight to start it. And I'm going to create a plane. And I'm going to create a fur system that's called fur, just right here. And I'm going to connect the, uh, fur, the plane to the fur, and um, I'm going to zoom in pressing F to fit the view and I'm going to create a plane and I'm going to render it. So as you can see, I've got a couple of uh, fur that were directly created with the procedurals. Let's do, um, let's use a dark preset to drive this uh, color. Okay, so um, I'm not going to dive too much into the um, uh, uh, air, uh, air shader, but um, I just use uh, an absorption system with um, melanin density and melanin mix to drive uh, with something more physical uh, the color of my uh, fur. And I'm gonna really, so I'm gonna play with the settings. Um, I got some simple settings uh, uh, like the density. I can go for something like say, well, I'm gonna go 100 and uh, Okay, right now I've got 100 uh, render and rendered fibers per uh, unit square of uh, Garia. And um, I can uh, super fast uh, inject a density noise uh, with a frequency. So with a frequency on, on one, the noise is going to be at the size of my scalp. But if I want to go for something more uh, tinier, I can go for something like that. So you can see the disparity uh, in the density. Um, I can play with all the settings I've got right there and um, I'm gonna um, get something more, uh, a bigger uh, lens, okay, and play with the lens noise as you can see, uh, okay, and so that's my system. Um, so as you can understand, um, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of settings to drive that. Um, I'm going to show you some uh, other things that can be more uh, uh, useful for going to a more complicated fur. I can play with the curvature of the system. So I can say that uh, I want to bend uh, the, uh, the fiber and uh, I want to bend way more uh, my fibers. So 
maybe is not gonna be easy to understand in this angle but as you can see it bent my uh it bent my um my uh, fur um and uh it gets cute so i can give it a direction um talking about direction uh we got a lot of settings to drive that and uh i've got uh, an axis that can drive the uh if my um my uh orientation of fur is gonna go from the normal surface and it's gonna be always y like to get a tree those stuff that need to be always at the in the y axis and uh i can drive with uh i've got a polar orientation so Let's say that we're gonna uh, uh, rotate of a quarter of a rotation. So as you can see, change the orientation of my fur. And uh, I can do that with also inclination and a wall, so which is gonna be in the uh, inclination uh, local space. And um, I got I can, can scraggle my hair and say, okay, um, it's not gonna be uh, just a simple, um, uh, simple line is going to be something more complex with a frequency uh, saying that um, my scraggle is going to go for something really messy let's go back to the uh, the four uh, system but I can also drive my um, system with different maps and uh, for doing that I can go to material and uh, I'm gonna use a keyword saying that um, my density is waiting for a shader to uh, reading the uh, channel of density so let's say I'm gonna connect to density create a float system because me infor the information I need is float and ta -da, there is nothing of course I multiply this density I've got 100 per zero so of course I've got zero of density so I'm gonna pick uh, directly for the samples uh, directory of Garia um, a simple map like, let's say that I'm gonna use uh, this map which is a simple um, number the number four with black and white so in white is gonna multiply by one in black is multiplied by zero and uh, I've got an hundred so when it's gonna be white it's gonna be uh, an hundred when it's gonna be zero it's gonna be zero of course and uh, as my map is it's little blurry so there's gonna be some little uh, fade uh, in it okay so as you can see um, I got a map which drove the uh, density of my fur directly on the surface of the scalp. Um, I can add some maps who are more complex for that. I can drive my clumping and can drive a lot of stuff. But I want to show you something uh, that's more um, is, is not um, easy, not common. And uh, the only way I've already made that is some uh, a, a one that's. Uh, maybe in very fur I already saw that and um, I can use a map to drive the orientation of my fur which is something really super powerful uh, let's have a look into it and um, so I just uh, pick my polar parameters and I switch I'm gonna switch it to uh, direction Mary so in fact the map I use I'm gonna use uh, it's a map that I've been uh, painting to Mary and um, Mary got a really super system to painting uh, or for um, map orientation for a map with a mixer system I have a tutorial about that so I can put the link into the uh, video and um, so I'm gonna create use this map I'm gonna call that polar and create a color because it's gonna be driving a color map so I'm gonna pick my direction map and I'm gonna drag and drop it and I'm gonna say that it's gonna be in linear because it's tears and let's have a look about it okay so as you can see that's that's really subtle um, I'm gonna change the curator of the system because um, I want to go for something okay so as you can see I changed the orientations of map and the map right now is giving information to the fur to uh, orientate differently uh, reading the map so I'm gonna go to the uh, default uh, parameters of, uh, of my rendering and uh, 
as you can see, he's driving that uh, fling the center. Uh, so th the map uh, I use was um, uh, giving the information of uh, fling the center of it, of the, uh, of the scalp. With the system, you can create really super awesome asset, like the one of my former student of mice, and I'm really proud of their work. Um, here comes the fun. Uh, they use two procedurals and a lot of map to driving the density, the, uh, the clamping, the radius, and uh, a lot of stuff, and they paint a map um, of Polar for this asset, uh, which is Sam from Mice. And as you can see, they draw all the direction with that, and that gives them the power to get uh, a lot of uh, mice, um, uh, a lot of, yeah, or, or mice, and like a crowd of mice uh, with uh, a, a super uh, sober footprint, memory footprint uh, in their student movie. Um, the other uh, way of uh, working with a uh, throwing area it's uh, reading guides and um, you can use the, all the procedurals map that we saw before and but also you can use guides to drive in direction and uh, basically that's most of the time you're not going to use a polar map to drive the uh, in top of the uh, direction of the guide so just driving with uh, with the guys the informations and um, you can use a pack of guides and uh, it's already recommended to combine all the guides into one shape. It's going to give you a better results in terms of uh, time of computing and uh, manipulation uh, of the system. Um, in the case, I'm going to show you um, Snav Guts. Uh, that's my scene just right there. So um, it's a really simple uh, render simulate with uh, Udini and Volume, and uh, I, um, one of my good friend, uh, share with me this asset. Uh, so I'm gonna go back for something. Uh, I'm gonna go back from scratch to show you how it works. So here comes the rendering. Okay, so. Let's back to the beginning and uh, let's uh, reset this render graph. So, um, first of all, I'm gonna uh, just render um, all the objects. So, that's it. That's all the object I've got, uh, finishing by uh, underscore uh, GO. And uh, I'm gonna play with my Earth system. So, what I need is um, I need a scalp, and the scalp is gonna be the surface of my uh, ball and um, the other object I need in this case it's guides so that's a pack of curves I've got let's switch to the uh, perspective view okay so that's packs of, uh, of guides I've got directly right there and um, so I've got my scalp I've got my guides I'm gonna create an error system that's got directly driving uh, directly set up for uh, working with and I'm gonna connect the scalp to my ball. I'm gonna connect the uh, curves to my area entrance and yeah, area inventory. And uh, I'm gonna connect the uh, my system to the flow. Okay, and just adding a red air presets. Good. It's run there. So. It's uh, super subtle, but there is a little amount of uh, air that been uh, generated. So I'm gonna uh, increase my density for something like uh, two, yeah, two fifty. Okay, it worked pretty well. So. As you can see, in fact, Gary just uh, interpolates the guide on the scalp, and it just say that it just just right here, and uh, it interprets the guide into the surface on the surface. Sorry, guys, and it's gonna generate all the fur, uh, re uh, interpret this guide and keeping the direction of this fur, and um, the fur is gonna. Uh, uh, get the uh, information of a uh, simulation as you can see 
um, and get the uh, information about that. Uh, it's it, it's a little bit different between uh, uh, my rendering and uh, my point of view because I've got um, uh, motion blur that's uh, it's uh, symmetrical, it's uh, centered. So the view I've got it as full aperture, but this one is going to be the real uh, aperture of the uh, of the rendering. So really quickly with a couple of guides that's uh, in uh, that's going to be agnostic uh, from any system that you want to use, you can replicate guides and interpolate them and getting something that's uh, uh, more efficient in terms of memory and you can um, uh, decimate and uh, directly get control uh, directly into the rendering. So if we want to go for something like saying, uh, I'm going to go crazy uh, with a thousand and uh, I can quickly get a thousand uh, fiber in the renderer uh, super quickly. Thank you for watching.